George Lyon, Liberal Democrat, MEP for Scotland. Why is it that the cap timetable has gone askew? Well, it, uh, last week the Commissioner at, at our agricultural meeting uh, announced to us that instead of uh, August uh, or September when he'd hoped to publish his uh, legislative uh, proposals, they've now slipped to possibly the end of the year and into the beginning of next year. So this means months now of delay, uh, uncertainty for farmers uh, and uncertainty about the future as to where the, the common agricultural policy is going to go. Did the Commissioner give any indication about why it's taking that extra amount of time, uh, difficult decisions to be reached, I suppose? Well, I th he gave this uh, explanation that it was something to do with the holiday period when Brussels wouldn't be working and then the time they came back and they worked up all their impact studies into the proposals that he's put on the table so far uh, that he would not be in a position to come forward with uh, detailed proposals of, of what's going to be in the legislation. Uh, it does seem to me though that there are, must be some other reasons behind it. I just wonder whether there is a lot of resistance to what he's put on the table so far or else he's uncertain about where he wants to take us. I mean, that's not going to uh, go down terribly well, I don't imagine, with Scottish farmers, that uh, holidays in Brussels are causing uh, delays to the future of, of their industry. Well, that's right. We need some certainty about the future direction of the common agricultural policy. Uh, we'd hoped we'd be into the final negotiating phase uh, after the summer. Uh, it now looks as if it'll be into next year. That means uncertainty for Scottish farmers and UK farmers as to, as to what the new regime will be, what the new system will be and what the objectives will be. So there's a lot of uncertainty, can't make long-term decisions because of the delay. Uh, and I am just concerned that if this slips further, it may be 2014 before we actually see an agreed legislative package in place and implemented. We are obviously going, ending a phase of, of, of uh, CAP, of Common Agricultural Policy. There should be a new one from next year. Are you worried then that you could end up with a gap? Yeah, I think so. I think there could be a delay and we might need transitional measures to fill that gap. Uh, because clearly by 1st of January 2013 the new measures should be in place, the legislation should be through the Parliament and the countries should be ready to implement it. I just don't think that timetable is uh, tenable anymore and we're going to see further slippage. And how much of a problem is that for Scottish farmers, for farmers around the UK, uh, not knowing uh, what, what the future holds? Well, it becomes very difficult to plan ahead. So if you're planning a big investment and you go to your bank manager, if you can't actually tell them what's going to happen in the future, what your expectations are, then it's very difficult to secure loans. There's many young farmers out there who are desperate to get a start in the industry and one of the big issues that's been discussed is how you actually provide opportunities through the Common Agricultural Policy to let uh, young people in. Until we actually get some decisions on this, they're going to be stifled as well from, from actually engaging and getting, getting into agriculture. So there's a whole lot of people there out there who are looking for decisions out of this institution uh, and it looks to me as if we're going to see a big slip in, on the timetable. It's finally, it's down really to the Commission to come up with these proposals. Is there anything that you can do as an MEP out here in Brussels to, uh, to push on this? Yeah, we'll keep pushing the Commissioner to, to make sure we don't slip into 2012 before we see the details of what he proposes. And we'll hold, try and hold him to make sure that we do get a published detailed legislative package on the table before the end of this year because any further slippage in then we really are into, into serious trouble in trying to meet any of the deadlines that's been set.